Hey team, Christy here, and I am going to do now part two um, of our pilot training, and this is gonna be how to set up a party within Post My Party. So the first video, if you haven't watched it yet, you need to go back and watch the video on how to import the template, okay? So now I'm gonna screen share, and I'm gonna show you a couple things. I'm gonna show you first what you need to make sure uh, a setting you make sure you set in your groups on Facebook to allow you to use Post My Party. And then I'm going to go into Post My Party and show you how to link your template to a party. Then I'm also going to show you how to create a Google form um, to be able to use to collect information, kind of like a door price slip at, we use at our regular parties, but this is a way you can get information like that from your online guests, okay? So let me share my screen here and we'll be ready to go. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Tina's online party because I'm gonna get her set up. Now you all will be starting, your day one will be Monday. My day one is gonna be Saturday. So I'm just gonna be a day or two ahead of you. So what you're gonna have to do, um, you should already have your hostesses group set up. And then what you're gonna be doing really starting tonight, inviting your host and really encouraging her and giving her words to say to add guests. And you can see Tina's only got 19 guests. We'd really like to have 40 or 50 guests. So I'll be messaging Tina here in a little bit. But the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do in your group, you're gonna to wanna to select more and you're gonna to wanna to go down here and edit group settings. Now, Facebook, when they went through a bunch of stuff in the spring, um, they made some changes and they weren't allowing any schedulers to post in events or groups. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this add apps button and then you'll see how many third party schedulers there really are out there. There's quite a few. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. This is taking a little longer than it normally does, but, um, what this is gonna do is it's gonna let us say um, it's okay to um, let post my party schedule in our groups. So it's all alphabetical. Post my party is gonna be down a little way. So let's just kinda try to get down to the P's pretty quick. M N O P P O P O S not post my post right here post my party so see it has this like little pink p and then party so post my party you're going to click on that and you're going to click add um okay so i've added it so now post my party can be used to post in tina's party so that's great and i'm going to go down here You go down here and I'm gonna click save. Maybe, for some reason my computer. Maybe because I have all these tabs up. Maybe I should close up some tabs, you think? Um, okay, I already did that. Do, 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 do. Does anybody do that, have this happen where your computer just bugs out on you a little bit? Oh my gosh. Back. Okay, we already did all this. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm sorry. Okay, where were we? No, I don't know if this is gonna work or not. How about I just, <laughs> okay. So maybe what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to my post, my party, and maybe what we'll do, let me go back here. Maybe what I'll do is I'm just going to schedule the second half of Alyssa's party <laughs> because I know Alyssa has um, post my party set up as an, an applicable app. So here's what you're gonna do, and this is actually maybe good good for you guys to hear this anyway. So 
because of the way the templates are set up, you have the one template that's days one and two, and then you have the second template that's gonna come through that's days three through five, so that's gonna be for you Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, okay? So you're gonna basically set up two post my party parties for each one of your parties. So when you get done with setting up all four of your parties for your four hosts, you're actually gonna have eight parties in your party list. Comment, let me know if you have any questions. But here's the thing, I'm gonna go here, you see Alyssa's party, this is her template days number one and two. So I'm gonna schedule a new party. And when you click that, you're gonna first choose a template. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna pick template, let's go back pilot days three through five. This is a personal group I'm using. And I'm going to go down here to Alyssa's online party. This is a little reminder to let you know Make sure that you're all set up in your group to allow post my party. So that's what that means. And then start on. So for me, my party's days one and two were Saturday and Sunday. So this one is gonna actually start on Monday, okay? And then my time zone. So you wanna make sure you hit time zone. Don't just look at this US Canada here. There's mountain time, there's Pacific time. Eastern time will probably be down here a little bit. There's my central time, so I'm putting that. And then here's where you put those replacement token values in. So for this one, this is Alyssa's party. So everywhere that there's the, the straight brackets with the word host in the middle, it's gonna replace that with Alyssa. And then I'm gonna go over here to my party. Of course, I had Tina's party up, so let me go over here to Alyssa's party. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab her party link. I'm gonna grab Alyssa's party link. And I'm gonna put it in that replacement token field because then everywhere, any post that I had the word link in those um, straight brackets, it's gonna replace that with her party link. So that's a really nice feature for us. You're not having to copy and paste that link everywhere. And then I'm gonna hit create party. And it takes a little bit and it's gonna create the party. And here's what it's gonna show you. So here's this, that template, which will be technically the second template for you all, but I want you to, to draw your attention to this right here. This says adjust posts. So if you think about it, you have four hosts that you're scheduling parties for. And then if I have four hosts, I'm scheduling parties for, and you know, there's like eight people on our team that are doing this pilot. We wanna make sure that we're not necessarily starting all at the same exact time. So what I like to do is I'll have a couple parties that start on the times that are listed here, okay? So maybe on my next party then, I'm gonna click this little drop down and I might add a minute. So basically it takes this template and it's just gonna add a minute to the times listed for this party, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click update. So anytime you make a change to the party, whether it's you're adjusting the times or you are you know, updating the name or if you're doing any updates to each individual um, post, you'll just wanna make sure you click update at the bottom. So you can technically go in, maybe you're like, oh, you know, Alyssa's gluten-free, I wanna throw in this gluten-free recipe. You can certainly go in and, and do that. You can add a new post here. And when you add a new post, I'm just gonna show you this real quick, not that I'm gonna add one. You put the name, you put the picture, whatever it is, and you put which day of the party it is. So maybe you wanted to put this post on day two of the party. So you can push this on day two and put whatever time you want, and then it's gonna technically kind of insert it into the right location in your, in your list here. So that's something that I just wanted to make sure that you are aware of. So that is how you set up your party. So once you have all your parties set up, like I said, you should have two post my party parties 
for each of your hosts because you're going to have one for days one and two and one for days three through five. Now, another thing that I want to mention here is I want you guys to realize how important it is for you to be interacting. And when you interact on your parties, tag a couple people. If you see maybe Sally makes a comment, then you need to reply to that comment and tag Sally in it. Oh my gosh, Sally, that's a great idea. Oh my gosh, Sally, I'm glad you like that waffle stick maker. Hey, I use, used it for, I've used it for cornbread um, too, you know. So it's important and what we're learning with Facebook changes is the more interaction you get, the more traction you get. The more traction you get, the more visibility that party and its posts get to the guests. And the more you can tag guests that are interacting, they're more likely to continue interacting because that's a way you're forming a relationship. You want to also be sure that you are sending your host something every day, which you shouldn't forget because I'm going to be posting in our Facebook group message every day something that you can share with your host because it's important not only for you to be commenting and posting every day, but for her, if she can have at least one post that she makes every day in addition to her um, interacting, okay? So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screen share here because I'm gonna show you how to go in and create a Google Doc to use as your door price slipper. You don't even have to, well, I, I think the post, the way it, it shares is it shares it, or it, it, it posts it as if, hey, here, here's a way to earn entries, more entries into the drawing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up here and you're gonna just go to google.com slash forms, okay? Now, in the template that I send you, you'll see my form, but you're gonna wanna create your own form, otherwise all your people's information is gonna come to me. And it'll be kinda confusing to me because I'm not gonna recognize any names but I'll have all their information, so I'm just kidding. But it will be kind of a pain for them to come to me. I, do, I don't want to get your people's information. So the one that I use is right here, and I'm just gonna show this to you because this is basically what you're gonna see when you um, click on that link in the post, um, okay? And you can use any picture here and all that. So what you can do is you could open up a second tab up here and go to the Google Forms once you open up mine, and you can basically just copy and paste, okay? Copy and paste everything over. Basically, you're just getting their first and last name, their phone number, their email. You're asking them how they prefer to be reached. You're saying, so far, what's your favorite Pamper Check product? What's your favorite thing that you already own? If you haven't yet ordered on the party, do you plan to? We don't want to leave you behind when we wrap things up. When I've used this, I it, it's really kind of a nice um, it's really kind of a nice bonus. I rarely have somebody say no, and if they do, I might message them and say, "Hey, thanks for filling out the survey. Um, I know you're not going to be ordering on today's show. Have you thought about maybe getting some free products or discounted items by hosting your own show?" even if they didn't click it down here. But basically, you wanna reach out to them, thank them for filling out the survey, even if they're not ordering, thank them for participating in the party. Please add me to your phone as Pampered Chef Christy, and here's my number, and please let me know when you are in the market for kitchen tools, okay? So, that is what it looks like. So let's go back, when you go to Google Docs, or when you go to google.com slash forms, you're gonna start a new form right here, and I'll pretty much walk you through. So you can title it whatever you want. I would make it generic, because you have four hostesses, you have four parties, they can technically all use the same um, form, because at the bottom there is gonna be a question about who, who is your host, who invited you to the party. So that way you'll be able to, you know, maybe have 30 responses from four different parties, but then that way you'll know whose party they belong to and you don't have to have um, four different survey slips. So I, I just titled mine, I think, Virtual Party Survey Slip. Now, couple things. Here's the little menu bar. So if you wanted to add a picture like I did, which I would recommend to add some fun 
Pamper Chef product pictures on there. Just click this, and then you can upload your image. Choose an image to upload. Um, so let me. And it could be anything. I would I would recommend it being something fall related. You know, maybe like our baking things or or whatever. So you're gonna just upload that. Okay. So then that picture is gonna be there. Um, let's see. I might delete this one right here because I want. And so you're gonna put your virtual party. Then you're gonna put your um your description maybe of the form. Thanks for joining our online party. And then you're gonna click add. So then there's your first question. And what you're gonna do, like um, name, first and last. And then, um, so you can have a choice. Obviously this is gonna be a short answer. Most of mine are gonna be short answer or else I have the checkbox ones. Okay, so that's how you decide which, which one it's gonna be. And I put required on all of them. Okay, and then you're just gonna click next. So maybe your next one is best way to reach you after after you've entered the phone number and all that. And this is where you're going to put not multiple choice, but you're going to put check boxes. Okay. And then you can just type in the options, each one, text, Facebook, um, phone. Um, and then if you ha let them have the other option too, which is fine, you can always do the add other and then make that required. Okay. So once you get all the way done, clearly I'm not completely done yet, but I just want to show you guys how to finish it. And like I said, you can have your mine up maybe in another tab so you can kind of just go back and forth and just kind of copy what I copy. And then after you get all of it done, you can come over here and hit send. It's not sending it anywhere. It's just giving you an options. I click the copy link and then I always click this little box that says shorten it because then it's not so long. And then this is what you're gonna copy into your template um, on the post that is asking for it, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. I'm not really gonna save this one. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna delete it because I don't really need that one. But um, you'll see that they kind of all come back here. I have a couple there I need to delete, I guess. But when you go in here on, it's it's going to be on your second template that you do, and I'll try to mark this. Um, it's on, I think it's on day two, or I think it's on day two that we share that. Um, but I'll mark it for you so you'll, you're sure. Oh, right here, online survey. So it's on day three, actually. It's on day three, it's like, so it's the last day, and you'll see there's my form or my my doc so you'll just take and change that up a little bit by adding your link in there okay all right please comment with any questions I'm super excited about this opportunity we have um, to do this pilot all right we'll talk to you soon thanks